I grew up seeing a lot of violence, so mm-hmm. that's just what happens. You know, that's how you solve problems. That's how mm-hmm. you solve it. That's how you make money. It's not mm-hmm. a big deal. So, and then being in the neighborhood, you know, growing up on the south side of Columbus, it's very prevalent there. Mm-hmm. It's just part of culture. It was weird to me. I remember going to college when I just assumed everybody, everyone sells drugs. You know, you sell mm-hmm. a little weed or you sell some pills, you sell some coke. That's mm-hmm. just what you do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they're like, no, that's not mm-hmm. what you do. Mm-hmm. Like, like, that's just the culture we grew up in. That was just an expectation. It wasn't, it was a normalcy. Yeah, yeah it's fascinating because, um, I do think the the culture and the environment that you're, you know, in, raised in, that you grow up in can really normalize some some things that uh, are terribly unhealthy. And especially if you're young, you know, and you just don't know any better, that's all you see, you're going to live right into that, you know, which is a, is a real uh, systemic problem. Yeah, I mean, until I really sought out therapy in, you know, my late mid and late thirties, I didn't understand the nature of violence really in an acute way until it was kind of explained to me and I processed it Mm -hmm. through therapy Mm -hmm. and and that was eye opening to to realize like how much you push down and how much you normalize things that shouldn't be normal to the human experience. (laughs) 